Sir Charles James Martin, the 9th of January 1866 to the 15th of February 1955, was a British scientist who did seminal work on a very wide range of topics including snake toxins, control of body temperature, plague and the way it was spread, dysentery, typhoid and paratyphoid, nutrition and vitamin deficiencies, proteins and myxomatosis as a means of controlling rabbit populations. He was a director of the Lister Institute of Preventive Medicine, serving from 1903 to 1930. <laughs> Early life Born in Wilmot House, Dalston, Hackney, North London he was the twelfth child of Josiah an insurance company actuary and Elizabeth Mary Martin nay Lewis. Charles James was part of an extended family of children from his parents' previous marriages. Being a delicate child, he was sent off to a private boarding school in Hastings. At fifteen he was employed as a junior clerk at the insurance firm where his father worked. He studied mathematics as a requirement for a future as actuary, but showed no special aptitude. Browsing through the numerous bookshops in the area, he came across a second-hand copy of A Hundred Experiments in Chemistry for One Shilling. Carrying out these experiments, he was sufficiently inspired to entreat his father to allow him to pursue a career in science. He accordingly took evening classes at King's College, London. He then studied medicine at St. Thomas's Hospital and spent some time in Leipzig studying physiology under Karl Ludwig. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. In 1887, he was appointed demonstrator in biology and physiology at King's College. In 1891, he accepted a post as lecturer at Sydney University before moving to the University of Melbourne as acting professor of physiology. He remained in Australia for 12 years, after which he returned to the UK to become the first director of the Lister Institute of Preventive Medicine. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1901. His candidacy citation read, During World War I he served with the Australian Army Medical Corps in Gallipoli, Egypt, and France as a pathologist with the rank of lieutenant colonel. After the war he returned to the Lister Institute until his retirement in 1930. He then spent a further two years in Australia as head of the Animal Nutrition Division of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in Adelaide. On his return to the UK he went to live at Roebuck House in Old Chesterton, Cambridge, which he equipped as a laboratory. During World War II it was used to rehouse the experimental animals being used for medical studies by the staff of the Lister Institute. He was awarded the Royal Society's Royal Medal in 1923 and delivered the Royal College of Physicians Croonian Lectures in 1930. He was knighted in 2015. <laughs> Personal life He died in 1955 at Old Chesterton. He had married Edith Cross, born the 24th of February 1860, died the 2nd of March 1954, daughter of Alfred Cross in 1891. They had one daughter. He is buried in the parish of the Ascension Burial Ground in Cambridge with his wife. <laughs> 